This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So we see Kane explaining that the undertaker was found in a vegetative state and Kane vows to prosecute anyone who had anything to do with the undertaker's disappearance. And the next match is a fatal four way for the world title. It's Jack Swagger defending against big show, Ray Mysterio and CM Punk. Uh, Mysterio regains the world title here in 10 minutes and 27 seconds. It gets two and a half stars. Um, I don't know. This feels like a lot of stuff just sort of thrown together. I mean, obviously these guys have a claim for the world title, but talk about styles clash. This just feels weird as a four way. What'd you think? Yeah. And let me back up for a second. Isn't the undertaker always in a vegetative state? <laughs> yes. Until the bell rings and he kicks your head off. Yes. He, when he comes alive, he certainly comes alive. Yes, he does. Yes, sir. I thought I'd cover that. Um, yeah. I mean, there's too many four ways as you, as you talk through the show and it gets to the point, you know, it goes back to where was the heat on the build to the match? Are we just throwing these gimmick matches together so that you had a, a pay-per-view full of fatal four ways or are you actually building towards stories and why these guys are in the match together and you can, you know, the match can be decided and you or the guy you're fighting with not even be in the fight when the finish goes down. You know, there's so many things that go into triple threats and fatal four ways and all that. And just to put four talent in there, they really don't have that many things going on amongst each other. It's just taking away spots and psychology that you could have used in a single fatal four way that went 45 minutes and told you an incredible story, but used all of the things available instead of trying to spread them out over the course of a three and a half hour show. This is uh, Ray's second time as world champion. Um, you know, we just had the whole size conversation about Evan Bourne, but then we're putting the belt on Ray Mysterio. Is it just because Ray is so unique and so special? He gets a pass or. Why do you think Vince was okay with Ray, but, but maybe not some others? He's just an example you go to. He is special. But, you know, the thing about it is every time I've seen Ray Mysterio win a match, if they had enough time to tell the story, whether it was Randy Orton or the greatest matchups of all time, him and Ray Mysterio in Mexico, Mexico City, I wish you could have seen it, Conrad, it was the classic example of the big guy bullying the little guy who you actually started to feel bad for Ray Mysterio. You almost wanted to just run down and, and grab him up in your arms or run out of the arena with him because he was getting manhandled so badly. But when he pulled off that victory, my God, the roof came off the place. Ray Mysterio winning the world title any time is such a fan-pleasing moment. It, it makes you feel good when you thought he had no chance, but you love him anyway because he, he's not out there mowing guys down. He's not out there muscling guys around. Ray's using his whole body to chip away at everybody he's in the ring with, and finally chip, 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 and boom, he knocks you on your ass. And it makes sense, and people believe it. It's all about the presentation. And anytime you can put the world title on Ray and let him go out and just thank everyone for not giving up on him because he's always still in the fight. That's the one promise Ray Mysterio can bring you. until the point that he gets beat. If in fact he does, he stays in the fight. And as long as he can have that promo, people will continue to love Ray Mysterio. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.